Olive, I'm at the temple. Where are you? Call me. Hello, I'm Rabbi Feller. Oh, hi. Hey. Shalom. <laughs> shalom. Boker Tov. Sorry, shalom's all I got. I'm Sydney, Olive's BFF. She's running a little late. Oh. Well, Sydney, why don't you come into my office while we wait? Okay. Wow, Rabbi Feller, your office is dope. Oh no, am I allowed to say dope to a rabbi? <laughs> you are when her office is this sick. <laughs> so tell me about you and Olive. How long have you been friends? We met in second grade. I twisted my ankle playing tag and she ran over to help. An eight-year-old carries around a fold-up crutch. <laughs> I still can't believe Olive's about to become a woman. It's a Big day. Do you know what it means to become a woman in Jewish tradition? Oh, well, it means, uh... Why don't you go first? <laughs> well, when a girl turns 13, she is welcomed into the community as an adult. And as an adult, she is now accountable for her actions and responsible for making the world a better place. That's awesome. Yes, it is. On the day of her bat mitzvah, Olive will read from the Torah. Her portion is all about finding gratitude in difficult times. Then she'll give a speech explaining how it's relevant to her own life. Wow, that's powerful. Olive hasn't really talked about the ceremony. I'm sure she'll be here any minute. She had a party 911. <laughs> uh, I see. Unfortunately for some kids, the party becomes more important than the ceremony. They miss out on getting the true meaning of their special day. Oh, that's not Olive. Her bat mitzvah means a lot to her. A lot. <laughs> Speaking of Olive... Hi, where are you? Sid, I'm having a really tough time finding llama-themed party stuff. No, Mom, an alpaca does not count. <laughs> Tell the rabbi I'm not going to be able to make it and that I'm really sorry. And say really like three times. But Olive... Gotta go. Bye. 